Was a 911. You're a little oinker. Yes, you are. You are dirty. That is all poo. Good morning. I could hear this from uh, the house. That? Good morning, you guys. I don't think we have to ask whose is whose. Stealer. Think I see one down here? Yes, I do. You had your baby. Is this the one I was looking at last night? No, it was that one. You still have him land. She's got a bloody stringer. Yesterday was a long, long day and we stayed around for quite a while last night. I'm kind of glad we did because it made this morning a lot less stressful for now. Well, I have two pens set up and I have two mamas I gotta move, so that was good planning. I finally caught Mama in the act back there. I saw her pushing, nothing coming out. So this could have been going on for a while. I'm hoping not, but I could not see her doing any of that last night when I left. So I am gonna put a glove on. Did I get the right one? No, I'm wondering if I got the right one. I think I did. All right, we're gonna put a glove on and check her out. Yeah, that's a tail, little lady. Got a foot. Oh boy. Okay, are you ready? Let's hope I'm not too late. You alive? You're alive! Oh, thank goodness, you're just... Wanted to come out on the wrong way. Hey, you did this. You did that. Kind of, sort of. There you go. That's your baby. I had a feeling. Oh yeah. That was coming the right way. Mm-hmm. Number two. <laughs> Number two. <laughs> I think that's it. <laughs> we have very 
small udder. Like very small. I actually prefer delivering backwards. I find the ones that come out. I do wish there was a way nature could figure out a way to uh, straighten their back legs out so they could just deliver on their own because they do pull right out once you get their legs. When they come head first, there's a lot that can go wrong. Right? Hi, Mama. You did very, very good. Good Mama. You just don't have very much milk. Hope you come in today. One, two, three, four, five. Last night, <laughs> we put this little muffin in here. This was the set of quads that were all different sizes. Two were stillborn. One was a revival, and then the other one's doing fine with mum. So this one uh, did not have a sucking reflex, so I'm like, all right. So I brought her in here, we did the water bath, I put her on a heating pad, and uh, an hour later, still not recording on the thermometer, so we did a dextrose treatment. An hour later, still nothing. It was, uh, it was time to leave, and I'm like, we've done everything, we cannot. It's it, like there was no vital signs. So I thought for sure it was gonna be a goner and uh, we just snuggled it into the box and I'm like, if it goes, at least it's, it's clean and it's quiet. And anyway, um, I came in here this morning to make a bottle, kind of forgetting about it because I figured there was no noise. So I'm like, oh, I don't even want to look. And, uh, and when I was mixing the milk, I hear this, I heard that. I'm like, what? So, um, yeah, checked his temperature, 37.7. I'm like, are you kidding me? And uh, so it's drank 50 mils. It's still tiny, and it's way too late for colostrum. So I don't know. She's a Hail Mary. If it, what are you? An it. I keep calling you an it. You are a, you are a he. So I'm doing all this work, and we all know how this is going to end. It's going to make everybody mad. Anyways, so our little nugget made the night. That is basically long story short. All the long stories. Breakfast took a little longer than I thought and Carissa is taking care of business out here. Holy moly. Where did I leave off? Holy, you're lambing. Girl.
close. Oof. Okay, there you go. You got something behind you. No, it's still in there. I see it. I see something. Well, this you was camera shy. She would not lay down and pop out that lamb until I walked away. So now we have a lamb. As I walk by Big Mama number three, she's kind of looking pretty sus. We'll see. Today, we may have some Big Mama lambs. All right, I'm gonna move her. I think she's got more in her. Mama had two more. So we had a set of triplets. I have two more kind of in active labor right now, but they're not showing anything. So I might run into the house real quick and have some lunch because I'm dying. It's almost one o'clock and uh, getting up early makes me really hungry. 20 minute lunch might be a record, but I haven't missed anything by the looks of it. No, everybody's still in progress. Her and the lippy one over here. Nothing yet, eh? Oh, we got a mucus plug, yeah. These guys are up already. Sorry guys, that was a 911. Wasn't it? You gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, sorry about your little noggy. Oh. Why do you guys run away? I'm trying to help. Yeah, I tell you, those nest cameras come in handy. Even if you're in the barn, I was uh, training bottle lambs on the machine because I don't have Chris in the afternoons. Ugh heartbreaking um, I'm the world's worst trainer but she already had them started this morning so they're doing pretty good actually and I'm like oh, I better check that you in the corner because uh, I saw feet before I went down there I'm like oh she's doing good and then I could see up here in the camera that's uh, not good there's a head saying hello you good okay I tell ya one pops and then there's another one so we just uh, delivered this biggie. It's gonna let them kind of do their thing and I'm gonna bring mama up. I think that baby's doing okay now.
Oh, should we check you for another one? <laughs> no, that's it. I think I finally looked up and looked down here at the end of the barn and uh, I was like, I feel like we're almost done. <laughs> and I feel like we just started. Uh, this was a really small group guys, so that's part of the reason I'm able to daily vlog is because it's like, I know it's only going to be for a few days and it'll be done. Um, we only have 20 left and this is the only time I think I've ever had this much space and room to move and it's been just glorious. Like, I haven't had to kick any use out too early. Like, I've given them probably an extra day that they didn't really need. Uh, but I just find it helps with bonding. And yeah, this is all that's left. <laughs> it's crazy, like, how? We'll take it. I've got a ton of tagging to do. And uh, I still have to train bottle babies. And I guess just keep watch, but no one else looks crazy close right now anyway that I can see. <laughs> I've been uh, training the bottle lambs and they've gone on really well. This little 12, I don't know if you can see it, the little, the little itty bitty has drank the most for the longest. It just drank and drank and drank and drank. <laughs> Wiggled its little butt back and forth. Oh, I mean, I love bottle babies when they drink well. Um, they're just not as much work that way. You're a little oinker. Yes, you are. He's the leader. So I had a brand new nipple on uh, the feeder, and what I find, it's kind of throwback to the dairy farming days when I used to have to feed really stubborn calves for dad. Um, I would cheat and make the hole bigger. <laughs> now you can't do that so much with this machine, or you're gonna lose all your milk because it just stays running all day. Um, but what I do find is I will grab the nipple from the last group, so the lambing here in June. They always have one nipple that's pretty swollen and it like it's been used quite a bit, but the, but the hole is still okay. I use that as the training training nipple. That's why there's milk squirted all over their faces because it actually does come out pretty easily. But when they're done drinking, it doesn't drip. So as soon as it starts dripping, then I have to change to the new nipple. But it's a little hack that I learned over the years. Learned when I was very young, actually. All right, do I tag now? Surely when I sit down, they'll start lambing again. I figured once I got right into tagging, there'd be a new lamb. I've been watching this girl. She's been very vocal. Looks like she lambed perfectly all by herself. Imagine that. Welcome. You are dirty. That is all poo. Can we show them your poo? So this is all meconium. This is all poo. That's all poo. You were born in a sack of poo. Your own poo. So that's why they get yellow like that. Good, good lady. Look at that. That is a lot of poo. You did that. You were well fed. I wonder if there's two of you. I am going to let Mom clean that one off.
done. You're still very large. Mm. I think your baby's already been up. Has she? Your Lammy's dirty. I think he's already trying. She? She! She! You have a big dirty girl. A big dirty girl. What's your milk doing? I think your milk's already in. Yeah, it's like 18. I think your milk's already in. I waited too long, lady. I think their milk does come in. Like when the lamb's been sucking. Comes in quite fast. I'm sure there's some scientists that watch this and are telling me that I'm full of it. For the most part, the first couple squirts have been in the 30s in this barn. And if I wait, they're always like mid to low 20s or less. And I think you've been at her. Oh, yeah. 